Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to the fourth and final round of the 2022 BMW Championship here at Wilmington Country Club. I'm sure most of you have seen round one. I had an absolute disaster, could not find my swing timing. My swing line wasn't great either, but this is an extremely tough and testing course and the live stream didn't really help. So let's see if we can bounce back. I'm currently one over for the round. Patrick Cantley currently has a one-shot lead in the real thing going into the, the final round today. But this is a tough opening tee shot. I am going to try and fade this a tiny bit from left to right. There's a two mile per hour wind. There's a tiny fast. That should hopefully hug the left hand side of this fairway. It's actually going to run out. It does trickle into this fairway bunker. Fortunately, it's not the heavy rough. As soon as you start hitting the heavy rough in this course, guys, it is a disaster. It's extremely punishing. So difficult pin here. I'm just going to try and deal off pitch and wedge and try and release this onto the right-hand side of the flagstick and let the slope do the rest. There's our perfect. This is on a good line. It should release out and start to turn towards the flag. Couldn't have landed that on a better area. And hopefully... That is going to set up a good birdie opportunity. Green speeds are 166. This is a 13 foot putt. Very little movement on this. It is breaking both ways. It's looking good. And that is a fantastic way to start things off here on the fourth round. And that does ensure I get back to level par. Hole number two. This is a long par three into this three mile per hour wind. I'm just gonna be in between clubs here. I feel I'm gonna to have to deal off five iron and apply a lot of top spin and just try and land this in the front of the green. And hopefully it runs out in these firm conditions. Big shot coming up here. Look at the wind change on me there. Did you see that? That wind's on a full 180 degree turn. We do get the perfect. We have found the front of the green. There's plenty of top spin in this ball, and as you can see, it is releasing up towards the flag stick, and that is a fantastic golf shot. Like round one, very tough putts. This is going to move a lot from nine feet. It is uphill, so we can play it firm. That should turn. It did turn, and I actually missed it on the left hand side. That is really frustrating. And that does mean we will tap that in for par. And we move on to hole number three. First of the par fives. Short, Short par five, but it really is a difficult tee shot. I'm going to be aggressive here, though. And I'm going to try and find the top part of this fairway. Applying a good bit of fade. Try and turn it over these trees and carry that bunker. We do have a helping four mile per hour wind behind us. There's a baby fast. Has that got the legs? I think that's going to kick into the sand. Oh, that is so unlucky. It's actually found a heavy rough, and this is what I'm saying. Look how punishing the lie is here. I'm just going to try and hack out three wood. Even if we get this 150 yards, it's going to leave me nothing more than a flop and a splash shot onto the green. There's a laser beam perfect. You couldn't make it up. And that ball is running out well. On these firm and fast conditions, we are 70 yards out. I'm going to go gap wedge, full off, full backspin, play the slope and the wind, and hopefully land this as close to the flagstick as possible. It's a red slope. That is going to miss on the right-hand side and come up way short. That really did not feel like a red slope. But as you all know, guys, the challenge on Master really is extreme. It's very, very punishing. That's got a chance of going in, you know. Oh, I think that just about sums up how things are going for me currently with the game. We hit the flag stick. It doesn't drop. Disappointing to par. That short par five. But we move on to hole number four. Going to try and find the left-hand side of this fairway. The ball is going to kick right. There's a far superior swing line and swing time and couldn't have hit that any better. That should leave me nothing more than a wedge or maybe even a pitch shot over the top of this green side bunker. 
4 mile per hour wind, 83 yards up 15, this lob wedge is perfect, I'm just going to deal off to it a tiny bit, I should get a firm kick out here, anything to the right hand side of the pin is going to work out well, oh, it's a tiny slope, that is going to punish me but we should get a firm kick left here, and that is a fantastic approach shot, it's left me with a pin high opportunity for our second birdie off the round. This ball is going to turn from left to right, but let's try and play it a little bit firm. Left hand side of the cup. And we do drain that into the hole for our second birdie of the round. And for the first time in the tournament, I am under par. So I'm one under for the event. This is a really tough tee shot. Fantastic looking hole though. I'm going to take it on. Trying hard to make something happen today. It's another perfect. This is going to leave me still a tricky shot across the pond into a very tough pin position. A lot happier with my swing timing so far. Look at that for a pin. There is a backstop that we can play for as well. I'm really in between clubs here. I'm going to take it on. I'm convinced this seven iron has the legs to get there. I'm going to try and play the slope. Ah, oh, there's another tiny slope. And look how much we are punished there. That is probably going to run off the green. It has done. That ball has went 18 yards right of the cup. So let's see if we can splash this one as close as possible. Might even hold it out with a good execution. It's not a good execution. It's a red slow. It's going to ensure the par save. I do remain at two under for the day, one under for the event. For some reason, I find this a very, very tough course. Look how narrow this fairway is. I'm going to play for the left-hand side. It's a short hole. It is an elevated fairway, though, uphill. It's another perfect. I seem to be driving really, really well. When it comes to my approach shots, I do seem to be getting too many slows. to get close to the flag sticks, but it is going to be a pitch shot. Just deal often gap wedge here, playing for the front of the green and the kick off the slope. It's another red slow, I, I just can't explain it. It's so frustrating because I really do not feel as if I'm swinging slow here. It's going to be another chip opportunity. Just playing the break in the green here. Hopefully this has got the legs to get up close to the hole. It's a tiny slope. That's just going to come up a little bit short and right. Once again, it's another par. Just my approach shots at the moment let me down with these, these tiny slows and red slows, which, as you all know, are extremely punishing on Master Swing. I probably can't justify playing Master Swing now. You're lucky if I'm playing this, get this game two, three times a week now. And in that time, it's just purely for the cordon. There's another slight slow. And this ball's just going to kick further away from the flag stick due to the lay of the land. And this is going to be a long putt. But as always, guys, I cannot thank you all enough for the continued support on the channel. It truly is appreciated. If you are enjoying the content, please make sure to leave a like. It does really help me out. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. According to my YouTube data, 60% of viewers are non-subscribers. I've got no idea why you're ch choosing not to subscribe. Um, if you are one of those viewers and you're not subscribed to the channel, please let me know in the comment section why um, you've chosen not to subscribe. But if you are one of that viewers that does want to hit the subscribe button, please feel free to do so. It is a 100% free. And it does help me out. And like I say, stay tuned to the channel for updates on PGA Tour 2K23. We should have breaking news on the 22nd. So red slow there. I'm just going to try a crazy shot here and try and fade this free. We'd like the bunker all the way up to the green. It's starting to turn, but I feel this is going to kick into the rough here. It's actually a fantastic recovery shot. Just unfortunate there. But that was 
a 100% mistake for me off the tee box. Just did not swing on the downswing quick enough. That needs to get down. And this is where you get in trouble here with this course. I can't believe that splash shot's travelled as far as that. And I'm now potentially looking another bogey. This is a massive putt coming up here. Taking my time. That should turn. Has it got legs? It's on a great line. It does turn. And what a fantastic putt that is. That actually feels like a birdie. That is a massive par save. After that splash shot just rocketed off the down slope, which was very minimal. So hole number nine, we're two under for the day. Bogey three so far, long par four. Hopefully this ball kicks left. Stays in play. I think that's going to trickle into the first cut. It has done. Anything off perfect in this course just punishes you. It's really, really brutal. Don't want to be short here. I'm convinced four hybrids the club. We'll try and run this up this slope. I'm just missing out on the perfects here by very little margins. It does get up that slope. It's going to leave me a longer putt than I would have liked. But it is a birdie opportunity. 26 feet out. It is breaking both ways, but certainly going to turn more from right to left here. Would love to drain this and get to three under. I don't think I've hit that firm enough, you know. Oh my goodness, you couldn't make it up. Nothing is going for me out in the course currently. That should have been another birdie. I just did not hit it firm enough. And I move on to the back nine at two under par, one under for the event. But this is a nice course. I think it could have been improved in sections. I've not had the chance to watch much of the BMW part of me this week due to to work and other things but the course isn't playing as tough in real life as it feels out here for me in the virtual reality side of things but nine iron should be good into this six mile per hour wind it's another grey slow I just cannot seem to get a rhythm going with my approach shots and that's probably going to come back down off the slope no it has stayed it's going to be a long putt 36 feet out. Certainly not going to leave this one short. I've certainly got the weight, but have we got the read? That should start to turn to the right. It has done. Oh, it just burns the right-hand side edge of the cup. And on another day, we should be four or five under here. Just not having the rub of the green. And we'll move on to hole number 11. This is a short par four, but it's a tough, tough tee shot. I'm going to try and fade this to the right-hand side off the fairway. I tried this in round one and failed miserably. We do get the perfect. That is turning superbly. It should kick left off this slope here. That's a fantastic tee shot. I've been swinging really well off the tee box this round. It's just been my approach shots. I seem to be getting too many slows. Want to most definitely get up to that top tier off the green. So just applying a lot of backspin here, a little bit of loft, yeah, red slope, I just can't get a rhythm going here, I cannot explain this because I really felt I swung fast there if anything, but it's registered as a red slope and this is a delicate splash shot, this is just going to have to be a partial shot. Get the par shot. Yardage was good. Just that red fast taking us left off the target. It's another solid par. But if any of you have played this course, please let me know if you found it difficult. I know my swing timing's a little bit inconsistent at the moment, but anything out with perfect, I am being really punished here. There is a perfect. I would love to take this. Um, shot on here in a second and be able to carry the pond defending this island green but I just know I'm not going to get there I mean driver not a good enough percentage to take it on that would be madness so we're just going to lay up with 5 iron and leave a little pitch shot 
into the green. There's a red slow early. Surely that kicks left. Do me a favour. That's her first real break off the round. Somehow that managed to stay on the fairway with a red slow. It's left me a gap wedge in. Just got to be wary of this overhanging tree. Just avoid it. There's a perfect. Yardage should be good. It should just sit down almost instantly next to the pin. Surely we can convert this four or five foot pot for birdie. Six feet. Certainly no gimme though. A lot of movement in this one. This would get me to three under par on the day. And we do exactly that. We do have a couple of scorable holes left. This is a fantastic par three. Hazards galore here. Water left, sand right. Just deal off to five iron here with a lot of top spin. That's a baby slow. And once again, the punishment is there to be seen. Yardage was excellent actually, but I really needed the perfect. Kind of took water out of play though. So this is a tough putt, 41 feet out. This is really going to swing from right to left. We've got the weight. I think that's just going to miss on the left hand side. It's a fantastic effort. It really is. That was a really good putt. I've been um, very happy with my putting today. It's just my approach shots that's letting me down, really. But as you're seeing here, these fairways are brutal. Hole number 14. It's another long par 5. There's a tiny slow, and I guarantee that kicks into the sand. If you're not hitting perfects off the tee box, you're, you're in a world of um, bother. So certainly not getting there in two. I don't think we would have reached regardless if we find a fairway. But I'm just going to try and chase Freewood as far down this fairway, out of the sand. Couldn't make it up. There's a laser beam perfect. Extremely tough shot out of the sand. We pull it off. And hopefully I can play a good approach shot here. I'm just in between clubs here. Do you know what? I've not been pitching well. Let's just go with the the full lob wedge without helping two mile per hour wind. Full top spin. Hopefully we can carry the top part of that slope. Oh, it's another red slow. You just can make it up. It's probably going to spin off the green here. That's going to be a tough uphill putt. I'm really making tough work on these approach shots. I'm swinging as fast as I can now and I'm still getting a red slow. This really is a game that you've got to play two or three rounds daily to maintain your rhythm on master swing difficulty. The way things are, I'd probably be struggling on pro to be honest. So it's another disappointing part these long par fives but hole number 15 it's another tough par three I think five woods most definitely the club here I'm just going to apply a bit of fade and play for the right hand side of the green and the slope oh early there's a red slow and I've completely gone look at my swing line just completely lost my rhythm now and this is a bogey territory. I'm just going to try and splash this from 23 yards out. From 29 yards out. This should really release out with a top spin in the firm conditions. It's still going to be a missable putt for the par. Certainly no gimme. It's another big putt coming up. Really don't want to be walking away with bogey here. Should turn. It does turn. My driving and my putting today, I've been really unlucky on four or five putts. It's been very consistent. I know we've missed a lot of fairways, but look how tight these fairways are. It's just my approach shots today that have really let me down. It's another laser being perfect off the tee box. This should kick right up the slope. I think that's going to be another pitch shot. 74 yards, up 14 feet. 
pins are really tucked. There is a backstop, but I don't think we're going to be short here. But I just need to focus on my timing. There's a perfect, and I actually felt as if I swung slower there. It's a fantastic approach shot. Hopefully, it sets up my fourth birdie of the round. Once again, no gimme. It turns into the left centre off the cup. Our fourth birdie of the round. We do get to four under, three under for the event. And I move on to the second. Last hole of this extremely challenging course. And that's a tiny slope. And once again, with the punishment, it's probably going to be sandbound. It's right up against the face as well. Not the worst of lies. Just got to try and find that slope. Anything long is just going to disappear. So let's hope they can reach the front of that slope. It's a tiny slope. That's not came out well at all. Wow. I don't think that ball came out as well as it suggested. Could have easily went another two clubs there. So just try to feather this down the slope and let, it, let the ball release out here. There's a fantastic shot. Oh, I just checked up. I applied too much spin. I expected that to get a firmer kick off the down slope. But it is a par putt that hopefully we can secure. But you're seeing the challenge here. Even these kind of putts are missable. Especially for me. So, four under. We move on to the final hole of the 2022 BMW Championship here at Wilmington Country Club. It's a baby fast. And you've guessed it. We're going to miss the fairway. So I don't think my, my greens and regulation and fairway stats are going to be um, pleasurable viewing. There is a backstop here once again. I'm going to have to hit. I don't think six iron gets there. I'm going to go with five iron. Try and play the backstop if we have to. Surely this gets there. It's a tiny slow. That's coming up short. Wow. I can't believe that's came up as short as that unless I I clattered into the overhanging tree, but I don't think I did. But let's see if we can secure the up and down and get the par save. Being aggressive with a splash shot here, full loft and backspin. That's gonna come up a little bit short, you know. Hopefully we can convert this par for the crowd in the gallery and walk away with a four under round, which will leave me three under of the tournament. We do exactly that, but there we go, guys. Not my best two rounds, but that is an extremely difficult golf course. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye. Hopefully we'll see you real soon.